Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Had a great night in this uh, little camp spot here. Had a hot shower, went uh, just down the road to the pub for some food and uh, watch Monday night football. Right now, just gonna go down, have some breakfast, uh, plan out the route, and then get going. No idea how far we're gonna make it or where we're gonna end up. It should start to clear up. I can kind of see the sunny haze through the mist, but the uh, mornings sure are getting chilly. It's getting pretty close to freezing. Warmed up to a balmy uh, seven degrees. So just leaving Elk City. Uh, I've mapped out 114K. We'll see uh, how long that takes. I think Florence Ghost Town is what the uh, waypoint says. So let's see what that's all about. Okay, I uh, missed this turn off and drove for six kilometers before I realized. So now is the turn off. And uh, we drove for about 40 minutes on pavement. And we're back on the dirt road. See if I get it right this time. Nope. We are uh, finally on the right road and uh, 62 kilometers to uh, the next waypoint that I put in, which I think is the ghost town. Somehow I got a flat tire. So I hit one little rock. I was like, ah, I'm hitting tons of rocks on this trip. This is going to be interesting if I can change this thing. So it's a slow leak. We'll see if I can get somewhere more civilized hopefully uh, maybe I have to keep stopping and filling it up unless it starts leaking faster Yeah, I've popped off onto a road, so let's see. Hopefully, a town pops up somewhere. Okay, uh, I stopped about four times now to fill up. Uh, it's lasting quite a while. I think I went 15k this last time, and then checked, and I was down to 20 pounds, so I'm up to 35 right now. Well, since it's a slow leak, I can still spend a few minutes sightseeing. And since I'm passing through Florence, a ghost town, I might as well visit the ghost cemetery. All these unknown graves. Some of them, they do know though. Apparently, Baby was the first person buried without his boots on. An old George Bernard who died in 1879. In 1860, gold seekers came to Florence to establish their fortunes. Some of them became famous, nobody I know, but most people faded into obscurity. The town flourished and violence and robbery and murder prevailed. H.J. Talbot, known as Cherokee Bob, was a town bully until he was killed by J.D. Williams and Orlando Robbins in 1863. Little known fact that Orlando Robbins is the great 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 grandfather of Robin Williams. I may have added an extra great. Talbot was buried in this cemetery somewhere. There he is. 29 years old and a native of Georgia. You bully you. Well, I'm actually not sure where next bit of civilization will be. Could be stuck for quite a while. Stopping every 10, 20 minutes. This is not the uh, best section to have a flat tire on there's a lot of steep rocky bits also some sandy muck i never know what to expect coming around the corner i'm really back in the middle of nowhere i haven't seen anyone for hours 
So it's a good thing I have that little inflator. It's been a long day. It's 2.30 now, so who knows? I may be stopping and camping somewhere before I even get a chance to find civilization. Okay, I'm uh, just under 20 kilometers from Riggins, and that looks like a real town. So, I may hole up there for the night. It's just about 3 o'clock, so I'll be there just after 3. If any luck, they'll have an actual uh, power sports or motorcycle shop, something like that. I actually made it to a proper road. Okay, well, Riggins has a bunch of motels and restaurants and stuff, so it will be at least a place for me to get myself organized and get this uh, attempt to change this tire if I can't find anyone who can do it for me. Okay, a little more detouring. I've got 75 kilometers to a town called uh, McCall. And they have some motorcycle shops there. I figure it's just under an hour, maybe better to uh, rather than attempt it myself and really make a mess. So we'll see, hopefully they can help me there. So I've got one more option before I uh, attempt it myself. All right, my last resort worked, so I decided to uh, find my brothers and uh, McCall Fire. Bo is a motorcycle mechanic, so uh, he is going to help me change the tire. Yeah, you just put it right here. What's that? Oh, I'm talking to my channel. <laughs> so, hopefully uh, we can get this thing squared away. Okay, so basically what's happening is I'm following the fire truck to Bo's house, where he has all the right tools, and uh, we'll be able to fix it. Basically, a fire escort. Bo's shop and all his toys. Look how easy it is when you uh, have the right tools. Yeah. And there you go, just like that. Super easy. Amazing when you have the right tools and a mechanic who knows what he's doing, how fast that is. I never would have gotten it off on the trail, and if I did, I never would have got it back on. Well, that was really unbelievable and unbelievably lucky. Uh, big shout out to the McCall Fire Department. And what are the odds that there's a mechanic a literal bike mechanic on ship. We're all squared away. There's zero chance I would have gotten that tire off. If it had been a real flat, I would have been in big trouble. Especially without the proper tool to get that uh, axle off. So I learned some tips and tricks. Actually use, uh, he said, fill the tire with slime. So I'm definitely going to get myself a can of that. He said, yeah, just spray it in. And you can leave it running around and it'll seal up the tube when it uh, detects a leak. Okay, uh, they told me that you can get a government rate at the Evergreen Hotel. So I'm going to give that a whirl. Okay, the bike's all clean. Just gonna go now uh, unpack, check into here, the Evergreen Hotel. I really gotta get myself cleaned up and organized after that ridiculous day. Hey, it's a little bit better than my normal places, but desperate times. I'm just gonna get myself cleaned up, get something to eat, and then that'll be about it. But uh, once again, big shout out to the McCall Fire Department in Idaho for uh, helping me. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe.